Number 38. Complete and balance each of the following half reactions, which is only steps two through five in our half reaction method. And then we have letter E. So we have to balance H2, gas, yields, and that's going to make H3O plus, and that's aqueous. Okay. And we have to do this in acidic solution. So I gave you all of the uh, steps to balance a full-blown redox reaction in an acidic solution. However, since they only gave us a half reaction, they did half of the work for us. So we only have to do steps two through five. So we don't have to do step number one because step one is to break it into the half reactions. But since they did that for us already, we don't have to worry about it. I just want to give you these all the steps just so that you have it if you have to balance a full-blown redox reaction. Okay, now let's get going. So the second step is you want to balance all elements except for hydrogen and except for oxygen, okay? So let's see, do I have any other elements beside H and O? No, I, I, I only see H's, right? H is on both sides. And I see oxygen only on one side, my, my product side. So I can't do the second step, right? Doesn't let me. I don't have any other elements beside H and O. So that goes out the window. But I just check just to make sure. But if I notice I can't do it, I just skip over it. The third step is to balance oxygen by adding H2O. So quick thing here, right? If you need to add one oxygen to either the left or the right side, you will add one H2O. There's only one oxygen in H2O. So if you needed to add two oxygens, you'll add two H2Os. If you needed to add three oxygens, you'll add three H2Os. So that's like the, the concept here. Let's see. I have no oxygen on my left side, but I do have an oxygen on my right side, right? And I have one of them. So I have one total oxygen on my left side, on my right side, I have no oxygen, so I need to add an oxygen here, but I can only add it in terms of water. So if I need one oxygen, I'll add one H2O. Cool. That's done for step three, and now you want to balance that hydrogen. So oxygen always comes first and then hydrogen, and you add it by adding H+. Plus. So let me put that up here. If you need one hydrogen that you need to add, you'll add it in terms of one H+. Plus. If you need two hydrogens, you'll add it in terms of two H+. Plus. So let's see. Let's get the total number of hydrogen on my uh, left side, my reactant side. Well, I see that I have hydrogen in two spots. I have an H here and I have an H here. How many hydrogen from this? Two, right? and literally plus, so plus. How many hydrogen from here? I have two. So I have a total of four hydrogen on my left side. How many total hydrogen here? Oh yeah, only three, right? So if I have a three hydrogen and four hydrogen, seems like I have to add a hydrogen here, and you can only add hydrogen by saying H plus, right? And how many? Well, I need to just add one more, so I, I'll just say H+. Plus. So I don't have to put one, right? Oop. I don't have to put one. I could just leave it as H+. Plus. So now I'm just going to get rid of this. Okie dokie. And now, let's see. Um, okay, now the last step, where are we at? We're over here. We need to balance the charges. And you balance the charges now by adding electrons to the more positive side. And that's an E minus, all right? So just know that electrons are negative, right? We learned that all the way back in the beginning. So we just have to see what the total charges are on the left and the right side. What I like to do is I like to split it down the middle just so that I know what side I'm working on. And all you gotta do is find the total charge in the upper right-hand corner. So for example, when I wrote water, I didn't write water as a charge. There was no charge in the upper right-hand corner. So technically, I have a zero charge here, right? If you don't see a charge, it's automatically a zero. So I have a zero coming from here. And if I do the same thing here, 
right? There was no charge for H2, so it's a zero. Zero plus zero is a zero overall charge for my reactant side. And now let's do the same thing on this side. Well, let's see, I have H3O and there's a plus, right? So what was it? It was a plus one. I only have one H3O plus, so that's the charge for H3O, right? I had a plus one on this side, and now let's see what's going on here. I have a plus on this side as well, right? That means that it's a plus one. I only had one of them, so I have a plus one. And I'm, I'm going to add them together, right? So plus one plus a plus one, or one plus one, is a total of a plus two charge. And now I know that the overall charge on the left is a zero, the overall charge on the right is a plus two. You always add electrons to the more positive side. So out of a zero and a plus two, which one is more positive? Yeah, totally, a plus two. So I know that I have to add electrons here, but now the question is, how many? Two, five, right? The answer is, you always take your more positive number and go down to the more negative number. So how many numbers on a number line is two to a zero? Yeah, two, right? So I'm gonna add two electrons. And that's it. Now, there, there, could, be, um, there could be two answers here. I just wanna point this out. As of right now, we have one of the answers, okay? This just comes from like a simplifying, um, thing here. So I'm going to put this as, as one of our answers, right? Because that's what we got. But I want to just tell you guys that whenever you see, whenever you see an H3O plus, this breaks down. Technically what this is, is this is just basically H2O and H plus, right? You see how combining I have H2O and an H plus? So you can actually simplify this if you wanted. Meaning that I can take this H3O plus and say, well, this was really water, right? H2O plus an H plus. And now do you see how you have H2Os on the, um, the uh, opposite sides, so they can actually get canceled. So that goes bye-bye. And now you have two H pluses together. So you can simplify this by saying H2 yields, I have a total of, oops, I have a total of two H pluses, so I can just say that this would be two H plus, and then plus two electrons. I'm just going to rewrite it. So you can see it as this. Or if it wasn't simplified, you can see it as the one that we just did. So I'm leaving the option up to you guys. It just depends on um, what, you know, what is acceptable. All right? So either one, it doesn't matter to me at least, right? To your teacher or professor, it might matter. So, so just know, you know, that for the one that we did, you can simplify it because H3O plus is the same thing as H2O and then plus H plus, all right? So that's it. Guys, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Give this video a thumbs up and like the, the channel if you want or whatever, you know, subscribe, whatever is, whatever options are there, <laughs> all right? We appreciate you. You guys rock. Thank you so much for making this journey so awesome. Um, and yeah, let's keep going. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.